And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Puff Cap aggro. That's right, now that we have got the three Teemos, I'm tr trying to build an aggro deck with the poison Puff Caps being a uh, central part to our deck. Uh, so of course we're, we're playing Teemo. Whenever we hit our opponent, we plant five poison Puff Caps on random cards in their deck. If we plant 15 poison Puff Caps, then we transform Teemo. And whenever Teemo hits the opponent, double the poison puff caps in their deck. So basically, poison puff caps are just um, basically like little tra you know traps, I guess. It just they're just like attached to random cards in the opponent's library, and whenever they draw it, that takes one uh, they take one damage. So we want to get as many uh, puff caps as possible. The, any card can have any number of puff caps, and so that's what we're doing with Teemo. There's actually not that many puff cap cards. We got Clump of Wumps that makes a Mushroom Cloud that we can pay one mana and cast and give them five more. We got Chump Wump that creates two Mushroom Clouds uh, for us to cast. And then we have the Peddler. And so the Puff Cap Peddler is whenever we cast a spell, they get three Puff Caps. And so, of course, if we're playing Peddler, we want to play a good amount of spells. And those spells for us are going to be mostly removal spells. We got Get Excited, Mystic Shots and thermogenic beams as our removal spells but then also i'm playing some transfusions because we've been uh, i've just been pretty impressed with with how this card goes or how this card plays and maybe transfusion can help protect teemo um from like a mystic shot or something like that um, then of course you know like we are playing we're just going to be aggressive so the so that we can do as much damage as possible and have the puff caps finish them off we have uh, jinx in here which is you know, made the best uh, aggressive uh, payoff, you know, besides our puff cap stuff. Uh, so we got some jinxes. We're using Noxus for the one for extra one drops because uh, we just saw them with the Vladimir Rally deck. These one drops that Noxus has are pretty strong. So this is just like the burn aggro deck that we played yesterday, but I'm trying to go much more puff cap themed and just see how that works playing a Teemo deck. All right, so first player, we're gonna go Puff Cap, Puff Cap Aggro, and here we go. Ooh, if we win this next next match, we level up to Diamond. Vladimir Rally did a good job there. We lost our first two, but then won seven in a row. And we're gonna be doing the same thing here. We're gonna be playing seven matches, but now with Puff Cap Aggro. Are there any spell burst damage? Maybe the, the one mana deal one damage, that may be a burst spell. But I think that would be the only one if that one is. Because, yeah, all the rest of them are not the deal damage or not burst spells. The mushroom clouds that, you know, like we can get the mushroom clouds with all the other things that we have. Those are all burst spells. Hmm. Well, the bad news is we don't have Teemo, but the good news is we do have one drops. So I don't really necessarily want to just throw away one drops. I guess we, all right, so we'll keep the rear guard, so that'll be our one drop. And we'll have the one and the two, hopefully find Teemo. Darn. Teemo, of course, is our absolute best turn one play. Where's my axe? Okay, ready. Yeah, I'm standing right now uh, just to get get a little blood flow going. You know, I, I kind of alternate between sitting and standing, uh, so I'm not just sitting down for the whole seven-hour stream. Hmm. Lump of lumps. It's probably better to play the Crimson Dis Disciple. I like the mulligan system in in the game, and I like how you get to see what the champions are playing before you make your mulligan decisions. It makes it so you actually get to make, you know, it, it does make it even a little more skill intensive, but, you know, you get to make informed mulligan decisions. And uh, the reason why that, that that's good is, man, they've just passed. The reason why that's good is it doesn't make it seem like you need best two out of three because you know like game one you keep in 
a hand that's great against aggro and then you play against control and you're just like well i don't get to do anything because you you get to see okay well my opponent's playing control and so you mulligan accordingly oh yeah we got boom crew rookie that card's good I feel like they're dead. Is that just me? Or are they dead? Hey, <laughs> you play laying down. That's that's definitely really comfortable playing while laying down, but um probably would would it be more difficult to be a streamer playing while laying down. Victory! Well, I guess if our opponent doesn't play anything. We're in diamond! Hey, what's up, Candace? We just got to diamond. Off to a hot start today, 8-2 and two overall. Diamond hype. How's your Saturday going, Kendis? Well, I guess I I guess I need to edit my stream info now. It says plat ranked, so I guess diamond ranked. No, their season's not once a month. It doesn't reset that quickly. What are we playing against? Lux, Garen, Fiora. I'm not sure exactly their time to table for resetting. Like, I haven't seen anything, but I know it's not like a monthly thing. Um, I don't know if whenever... Basically, like, uh, these are the cards that we got for now. But won't get past me. I'm not sure. Um, Where's my axe? I scout ahead. <clears throat> so later on in the year, first half of 2020 is whenever they said they want to. That's that's like the what they said of like the timetable. First half of 2020, they want to have the game out officially out of beta and um no one's the wiser. and since it'll be out of beta uh that's whenever they want want the game to go to mobile and so it'll be available in mobile and so i, I think i think at that point that's whenever they're gonna um, from, from what it seems like is at that point that that's whenever they're going to release the next set and so with all that being said, I don't know if, if whenever they release that next set, and if that's you know if that's whenever rankings kind of reset each time they release a new set. I think that would kind of make sense, and by you know rankings reset mean a little bit of decay. Um, Better run. I guess people said in like League of Legends, which of course this is based off of, and same same people making it that. There's basically no. Um, like, there's basically no rankings reset. But if you just don't play for a few weeks, your rankings will decay. Like, if you don't uh, play for a while, you, rankings can decay, but they don't reset. Yeah, I would. Yeah, that's a good call. That like having at least the card names up at the top would be nice. Instead, you know, like how it's just the picture there. So instead of having the card name here, the card name right there, so that you could at least so whenever it's right there, you could see the name of the card. That okay, that's Crimson Disciple. I agree with with that. Uh, where that would be seem like a better system. Um. If you're watching on like your PC, you know, you can see my deck list over on the left. 
and give that some pop caps. And basically, you can, uh, you know, you can see it's a two mana card, and you can kind of see, see what the art looks like. And so you can go to the two mana cards, and you know, you can you can scroll over it and see what it is. But yeah, no, I understand that. That was that was something that I kind of noticed at first too. I was like, well, shouldn't they just have like watching other people play? Shouldn't they have the card name there at least? Uh, I guess I ran into the, I walked into that. Judgment's just always such a blowout. Oh, I can't wait. All right, Jinx, you gotta finish it off for us now. They're down to four. They also have 13 puff caps in their deck, so that maybe they draw the puff caps to do extra damage. Um, but Jinx does a pretty good job of finishing games out. Oh, right, they're just going to kill Jinx immediately. <laughs> Alright, jump up. Oh no. Alright, well, we need to get them enough puff caps for them to die. Like, right now. Well, that's not going to happen. This, this was two wonderful turns by my opponent. I was kind of just coasting. I just kind of had already filed this one away as a win in my head, and and uh, this has gone all wrong. Now this thing has lifelink, so they gain five. Come on, puff caps. Need some lucky puff caps. One. Ah, they only just took one. Do you think their top card will have eight puff caps? <laughs> they got 44. Maybe the top card has eight. Or maybe it has six and we draw a mystic shot. Just one. Can't do just one. <laughs> My heart and sword for the mafia. We need a lot more than that. The mafia! I, uh, rawr? Would a mushroom help? Uh, excuse you. I guess they have another judgment. They don't have the mana for judgment. Um, I'll just repost. They're saying good game, but you never know. They could have 14 puff caps on the same thing. Come on, one, two, three, four. Ah, only five? I need more than that. Game's not over yet, though. My sword is yours to command. No doubt, totally victory. Come on, another nine puff caps. Nine. No, just one. Not enough. I can do this. They cannot hide. Strike for justice. All right, so you can block here. Wait, see, no, you block here. It wasn't me. I would a mushroom help.
So I'm dealing two damage to my three ones, so they don't get to gain all the life. Obviously, they just have another judgment. Why not? Justice. All right, well, there's 40 puff caps. Maybe they draw 20 of them. <laughs> this is getting more and more far fetched. Yes, you and me, fishbone. I fight for the fallen. Really a deny also? Super big, tough life linker is the kryptonite of the small aggro burn deck. And that happened there. Pair that with judgment. And we lost. Put up a pretty good fight, though. Put up a pretty good fight. So I'm attacking turn two. Timo. Reporting in. Explosives pride. I'll do better this time. Timing is everything. <clears throat> Just gonna trade. Team go. I can do this. All right, so we're taking five. Unless they play something else. Okay, good. So now we can bolt the three two. So now we're only taking four. These are all fearsome. We can't block any of them. But the Chump Wumps are going to be a good card to play the next turn. All right, never mind. We're taking 10. Chump Wumps a good blocker. I'm just going to go straight to attacks first. I don't want them to play something else for the me not attacking with the boom. Crew rookie question mark. Yeah, we'll just go straight to attacks. Worst case scenario for me is probably Wraith Wraith Crawler. Or is that the name? No one's the wiser. I don't remember the name of the card. Okay. Thermogenic beans. All right, got a block here, block there, take five. Take nine. This is putting us down to one.
Really? All right, one and two. Target enemies 18 times. All right, but we got a capsule. What kind of capsule is this? It's a wild capsule. Get those wild cards. All right, four common wild cards and a rare wild card. Not bad. Take those. Okay, puff cap, aggro. See, it doesn't matter that we're getting these losses right now because we're not, you know, we're not leveling down from diamond. You know, we just got to diamond, and it's okay to pick up the losses right after that because, you know, we're already at zero percent towards the next thing. So we did a pretty good job of mixing in of exactly where to win and when to start losing. Just get rid of the experimenter. I was thinking about keeping experimenter anyway because we are playing against Ezreal. I think this is going to be a. It's going to be kind of tough. It's going to be really tough to hit with this Teemo. Yeah, sometimes the wild capsules upgrade to champion capsules. Yeah, that, that would have been nice. I thought it was a better chance of just playing it that turn and then untapping and, and attacking with it right away than playing it on my turn. Yep. This Ezreal deck I have found to be pretty good against small small creature decks. Which is what we're playing. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Playing the three three because he uses my mana the best, but honestly, maybe. Can I just let's play Clump of Wumps first? Because then I can play that and like Mystic Shot. We didn't get a single puff cap in their deck. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. Because now we're going to the late game and we haven't even dealt any damage to him. This looks pretty bad. All right, so eight mana, three, four, five, six, seven. be really relying on this jinx that's for sure I have my orders of 
course I'm ready. Hey Sippy, do you want to see what I what I wrote about uh, Legends of Runeterra? Why I like it so much? Don't that's blink. that's this. Oh, Google Documents there. Don't mind me. Better run. One shot, all skill. As you can tell, I'm waiting for Jinx to be the last card in hand. So Jinx can be a 5 4. <laughs> They're out there. I'll spot them. Now it's a party. Explosives primed. Empty this hand. I guess Thermogenic Beam is kind of awkward because it uses all of my mana, so then I don't get to cast the Super Mega Death Rocket. So that is kind of awkward. But Ezreal's out of there. I'm not going to attack with Jinx. Let them frostbite Jinx and block with a 4-5 and kill, kill Jinx. Not going to let that happen. In Avarosa's name. All right, playing the get excited that shuffles the Jinx back. <clears throat> to kill the bull. And, you know, I'm not blocking the 2-1 two because the 2 ones just going to die. The Super Mega Death Rocket. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> that is an intense animation. Kill this Ezreal. Basically, we're like a Jinx control deck right now. Damn it. Goes we got two Ezreals out of here. That's a pretty big game. No. They got my Jinx out of here. So that's not good. All 
Harvey's like dreaming or something. Clump of bombs. So I think we should still have two jinxes in the deck, I think. Yeah, because there should just be two shuffled jinxes in the deck. Ouch. That's a great card. For obvious reasons. Draw three. In top in top deck mode. Got him one puff cap. Another day in the field. Shh. There it is. Can't afford to miss. Alright, puff cap aggro, not getting it there. What if we need puff cap they don't know what they're up against. control? Don't blink. Oh, you miss me. How can we make puff cap puff caps work? I don't know. That Ezra Elnux deck I think is is awesome. That's one of my top two decks. That and the Kinko Elusives. I think those are the top two decks. And and that deck in particular is great against small creature decks. So we kind of just ran into two anti-our deck. Uh, you know, like, that's that's a really tough matchup for us. And then the... Oh, great. We get to play against it again. Yay. And then, um, you know, the match before that Radiant Guardian... I'm gonna try this. First big I'm going to I'm gonna do better of protecting my peddler this time. I definitely want to be able to play peddler and then play spells. I guess we have the two peddlers. Hear that. I'll just wait on playing the peddlers. I'll just play that thing, get get that out of there, and we'll just lead with the chump lumps first. I think that's that's our best play, is just play these chump lumps, get all sorts of mushroom clouds, play the peddlers, and then start playing a bunch of mushroom clouds and try to give them a whole bunch of puff caps. Hands looking pretty good and things are going pretty well, and then they just have Troop of Elnux. Oh, if 
mushrooms could talk for once, am I right? Mushrooms could talk. All right, tons of mushroom clouds. Poison puff caps. Puff cap aggro. All right, instead of playing the last one, I'm gonna thermogenic beam this for one. All right, we got him 28 puff caps. <laughs> All right, drew two of them. There we go, just gotta draw 11 more. Yeah, you got four damage on me. Um, So this is another 30, by just casting these three, uh, that's another 33 puff caps. All right, they got 59. So they're at 11, but I can do three damage to them. So they're basically at eight. This thing can attack for one. Ooh. How about that? Seven puff caps. How the turn tables. Correct, Starman. Correct. Yeah, no, I, there's no bonus for me if you redeem channel points. Correct. Huffcat burn. I guess they could still have... No, they can't have deny. Huffcat burn. Got that card with seven puff caps. <laughs> that was pretty lucky. All right, we're two and three. We're coming back. All right, we got some fearsome spiders. Um, all right, there's a curve. And I've just had like something in my eye this whole time. There we go, that feels a little better. Sure is dark, eh? I so they're given an ally in hand, ephemeral, and reducing its cost by one. It's all in the wrist, see? By not blocking, I'm taking two damage and they're taking one. So basically, I, instead, I could have you know kept our life totals both at twenty, but by not by not blocking and then like letting them block here, 
they take one damage and I took two. It's not a trade that we want to do all the time, but I think, you know, early on in the game here, I think that's a trade we can do this one time, but... Oh, so you can't always just trade two life for one life. Night falls, shadows gather. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Shadow, take this. We do have a backup Jinx. <laughs> Obviously they have they have the combo. Great. Best possible thing they could have in their whole deck against us is a is a dark water scourge just in the whole colors is, is dark water scourge plus death mark best possible great put on me mask secure me tail Start the day. i will play my part excuse you we can't go any higher than 20 you won't get past me Reporting in. The shadow approaches. Just gonna put this here. Your life is a burden. You cannot escape. This game's a lost cause. Our champions are going to have to be really good. I have yeah. <laughs> Get them all in the top card. No one's the wiser. The shadows take form. <laughs> May need to just block Hecarim with Jinx. Oh, come on. Nothing like the great outdoors. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I gotta block all of these. You're starting to bore me. Ready. Oh, that thing can't block, right? Timing is everything. All right. Well, if we can double their puff caps, they're at twenty-four. Double them up to forty-eight. Yeah, sure. Oh, sure. said everything. It. 
Had it all. All right, we're two and four. Puff caps are just a little slow for constructive. That's what it's really feeling like. Feeling like they're a little slow and there's not enough puff cap cards. Um, so our best case scenario is playing <clears throat> playing Teemo turn one and attacking with Teemo, and that hasn't happened yet. So I'm gonna just replace all these. We have the attack token, let's find Teemo. No, we're never lucky. So that's our, that's of course our best start. Wrong champion, need a Teemo. Reporting in. Okay, ready. Not looking good. The problem with playing the Peddler first is that then, then they could play Frenzied Skitter. And I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. Oh, if mushrooms could talk, no one's the wiser. This was a good time for us to see Frenzy Scare, though, because then we get to play the four. They have Mark of the Isles also? Just have everything. Playing Jinx lets me have the, the get excited for the next turn. They really do have everything. I have my orders. Wow. No one's the wiser. That was a pretty great hand. All right, so I need to do... This is doing two damage to me. It puts me down to three. I can, like, block. Block, block. Nope, that doesn't work. I have to trade away Jinx. You're starting to bore me. What? Are you kidding me? I'm adding. I ran out of time, I guess. Fire in the 
This has just been frustrating. Damn it. That was very, very frustrating. All right, but our puff caps aren't really looking strong enough, unfortunately. So fearsome rally. We're gonna have to be very defensive again. Yeah, poor puff caps. You won't get past me. Explosives primed. Okay. Last opponent just had so many ones and twos everywhere, and then also the like tricks with the mark of the aisles. They just just had it all. This opponent's ba basically playing the same deck. You know, they just have a, a two drop on two. Not nearly as having it all as the previous opponent. I have my orders. Yeah, uh, playing just playing Legends of Runeterra instead of Arena. I am a big fan of, of this game. I think this game is like you know it's a, it's been out for about five weeks now. I think it's just a really really well put together game. It's really fun to play. I mean that last. I mean I know I'm saying that it's frustrating from that last game, but um, I wrote about it. Why I think the game is better than Magic, which is weird to say after playing Magic for ten years, but. Yeah, game, giving this new game a real shot. And I hope more people check it out. Don't see that happen too often. All right, gave him three puff caps. trying to get as much damage in as possible. So they're down to five. They got the nine puff caps. We still have a three damage burn spell in hand. And of course, this whenever this thing attacks, it does one damage. Oh, 
Okay, Teemo can do one damage in the air. Also. 8, 11. Bleh. We do have lethal attack currently. Well, good news, we got our <clears throat> our quest done, but these puff caps are just not powerful enough for constructed. <laughs> we're playing one more because we're playing nine matches with each one. So I'm playing one more. But. Um, yeah, it looks like the the aggressive aspect with the puff caps isn't working. Maybe, maybe back to the drawing board and look for, or you know, try to build more control deck with the with the puff caps, uh, similar to the Ezra Elnuk decks, but maybe kind of go puff. Let's try to get more of the puff cap type okay. stuff. Ready. Ready the torches. Light the signal fire. Not sure. Have a mushroom. Have three. Now let's play the rookie. I can do this. Be nice to end on a win. <clears throat> Pick this last one up. It'd be nice. I think it's pretty likely they have like Avalanche. I can see them having that. Grasp. So I'm doing the, the plus, I'm doing the one damage to the, the uh, Disciple even though this is not a great play against Avalanche, because now all my stuff is two toughness, but it, it does do the two damage to them. Like, if they don't have Avalanche, this is my best play, but if they do, this is my worst play. All right, they're just passing. I'm just going to take priority again with attacking and not play anything there, just so I can go straight to attacks. All right, and they're down to nine. Where's my axe? D 
Optimo. There's the avalanche. Do the three damage to them now. To be able to trigger the peddler. Have a mushroom. Have three. I heard about you. Should probably just be giving that to Teemo. I just felt like Teemo is, if I target Teemo, Teemo is kind of vulnerable. Oh, I guess that thing may be burst speed. I wanted this thing to, I wanted Jinx to be able to survive Hecarim. Awesome. All right, picked up another win. There we go. So ended with a win. Um, but we got that, that very first one was a win to get us to diamond. So that was, uh, that was important. Um, But yeah, the, the puff caps, you know, like they definitely didn't seem like the strongest part of our deck. You know, like Peddler is just pretty slow. You know, it slowed our, our deck down quite a bit. You know, and then Clump of Lumps, not so strong either. You know, we played this deck yesterday with, you know, with just Teemo and then all, all aggressive stuff and the, the burn deck in it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, it did kind of seem like Jinx and like the other cards were like the more powerful stuff in our deck. So yeah, so how to build, so maybe just all out aggro for the puff caps isn't the way to go. Um, so maybe we could try more of like a mid range or control kind of deck with some puff caps to try to make, try to make the game go longer. So the longer the game, the more cards they draw, so the more impact each puff cap could potentially have. I could see that. Um, Maybe like Teemo and and Heimerdinger. Hmm. Maybe. <clears throat> anyway, uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, I hope you hit that like button for the video. Um, but then, if you if you're playing any puff caps in constructed, let me know what you're doing. What are you, if you're having any kind of success and having fun with playing puff caps in Legends of Runeterra constructed? Uh, yeah, let me know, you know, how you're doing it. Feel free to put your deck list down below uh, in the comments. Um, I'd appreciate it. I want to try it out because, because yeah, Teemo's fun to play and puff caps are pretty fun. So I've got to find a way to make them viable. All right, but that's it here for the puff cap aggro. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.